Wow. Praise God. Good morning. Um, I have to say something. There's a time, I love sitting up there. So there's a time I was seated and I was like, Skumoja ntataka ku preach. But dreams are valid. So if you are dreaming, continue dreaming. Sasawa? So, um, what to Argentina? Or what to France? Yes. I combination of this year, I got Christmas. What when you are football, Poleni? Kuna football to Nanza Nayo? Nakwambi me kwatamu, like I think in a kwanga, 90 minutes, but squeeze it to Nachazanga, three hours almost. Sindio? For those who have not been following, sorry. But World Cup is for everyone. Sawa sawa? As you have heard, you are you're welcome. About the, let me repeat what Pastor Odua said about the youths. Tunakuanga wengi. Even there is a time, someone told me, tuende tusmame kwa gate. What were English service wanatokanga? Youths, muna pita ile. Trust me, you miss a lot. We have been doing Bible studies and I tell you, we have brilliant minds here. Yeah? If you are among us, you will understand. But Usijali, we got you. Yeah? Just come, join us, and then you will feel it. Tunakuanga na form. Najua Sunday suits wanakuanga formless. Hakuna mtu wanaizani ambia kunakuanga na form Sunday. Sini ukweli? Especially when you are in Joro. So please, stop running away. Just join us. How are you, Pasi? Ndiyo hiyo sasa. So, um, today, um, my, I go by the names George Mugai Rugambi. I'm saved. Christ is my personal savior. I'll be bringing the word to you. And, um, Zam, sufanya ile jambo. Ya kwanza. There I was, standing shamefully in a courtroom. Surrounded by demons on my left and angels on my right. Satan as the persecutor holding millions of records about my life and God. Sitting on a throne with a mighty gavel in his hand. I had no lawyer. Placed on trial for things such as lying, stealing, and fornication. For this was the beginning of my tribulation. For there was no reason to plead an innocent statement. For all the evidence was sitting right there with Satan. The demons smiled as tears rolled down the judge's eyes, for they clearly knew that now was the hour of my demise. But wait, in came a light shining so bright that the demons smiling suddenly jumped with fright. And the man that walked in that night was none other than Jesus Christ. Darkness departed to give way, and glory was all the angels could say. As the man that walked in that night pulled out a lighter and immediately set Satan's records against me on fire. He took the sentence file and erased my name, looked at me in the eyes and said, Daughter, I'll take the blame. Handcuffs were placed on this man and he was thrown to the ground. The entire courtroom gasped at the horrendous sound and the sudden seized the beat of his heart. The man that walked in glowing had now become dark. I did this to him. My lying, my stealing, my cheating. And he took the pain and spent three days in the hell that I was to go to for eternity. I left the courtroom that day and there was nothing I could say. I was found innocent for Christ handled the debt that I was to pay. This type of love is more than you could give to a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. This man died for me. I owe him my life. And even though my life is not at all worth it, how could you ever trade preference? that is about God's love. And I was thinking about John 3.16. Uh, everyone knows about John 3.16, right? Uh, can we say it together? Yes. 
So I was thinking about it actually this morning and I decided to replace some words. So um, for what God has done for you, for the world, God so loved the world, replace the world with your name. Like for God so loved George. I want you to replace it with you. Like, say, we repeat it, but we say, For God so loved George that he gave his only begotten son, that when I believe in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, I want us to say it now. Yeah? So, for God so loved the world. For God so loved. Aya, tunasasa tunasema, kila mtu anasema, sawa, sawa. Aya, tuanze. For God, His only begotten Son, that when I believe in Him, I shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That, is, that thing is very powerful for what He did for you. Yeah? If you realize that, then I think you will always follow Him. Amen? Oh, that was not my message. That is something nili nini before. So, uh, Zam, fanya ila maneno yako. Kelax. Mflet ni mekuwa natu. Maswali tu ya ni. Try kutafta majimu. Of late, I've been to personal interviews, and I have internally been expressing my views. Yes, na jo we normally view things differently, cause kuna wale wana jua cocktail ni juice flani, pia kuna wale wana jua cocktail ni jago. And both of them can stand and defend their statements. Kini for now, chini tu chambu his statement. Go therefore and be fishers of men. As Christians, many of the times we seem good from far, but in real sense we are far from good. Mini sha juliza wewe sasa juliza. Ni marangapi as a Christian we make oki come church not because of serving God, but because you have a reputation to keep. Ni marangapi we make oti oyo boy yama demu vuta bangi sana hudienu ukamshoniaji leo mi amkaji. Ni marangapi as a Christian we make oti oyo boy who play mamanzi oto ukamshoniaji. Tunde leo ni kubaya lunch. Ni marangapi we speak in tongues as a Christian not because the Holy Spirit has filled you, but because everybody else in your church speaks in tongues. Ni marangapi your friend when you have half naked da kitoka konyumbu mumsalimi uka mambia hi have a blessed day. Ni marangapi kama msani umenda events of a budget. Kini una target. Ni marangapi? Church is hard. Simply because religion is gradually creeping in. Siku hizi tunajiona holy such that ours is always to check list. Fulani ufanya hivi? Ay. Na yule ufanya hivi? Aish. Ile love inye tunafaa kuwa na as Christians. Na fade away. Kiuliza moja. Tukwambia light cannot mix with darkness. Skatai, and yes, it is even in the Bible. But at least when your light shines in the dark, utawezaji could drive gari no mesmo manje. Furthermore, Romans 12:2 in asama do not be conformed into the ways of the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. Meaning, it's upon us to transform them and to renew their minds, and not to be conformed into their ways. Always at the front line, kusama gospel music ya Kenya ata makes sense. Ona mo kuskiza zamaju. Skatai na sivi baya nando vile kuna familia mtoto ni pasta ana preach ya watu wakoke lakini kwa hiyo familia ni yeye ameokoka peke yake we are so fast kusema fulani na fulani hata sio gospel artist but what are you doing to bring change to them instead of complaining and pointing fingers at them what are you doing to make them farm soldiers of Christ simply nothing what if i say these are wounded soldiers of Christ who need your medication to stand strong again but if you push them away hakuna vile unawasaidia ni mara ngapi tumefail ku play our roles as christians but we go so fast to blame others i think it's high time we worship god in truth and in spirit i think it's high time to acha kufanya vitu kupata people's opinion but to fanya vitu kupata god's opinion i think it's high time before i remove the speck in my brother's eye i first remove the log in my own eye i think it's high time we allow the love of god to flow freely 
amongst us. That ni wacha kuwa so religious, ni wakon kuwa more spiritual. That ni wacha kuwa act a sheep in the light, then a fox in the dark. That ni wacha kufanya what everybody else is doing. But what God wants me to do, that ni wacha kuwa take wine, then a preach water. How shall we win over their souls without loving them first? And how shall we love them and we don't have the love ourselves? How shall we have that love ourselves and we haven't accepted Christ the one who loved us? And how shall we be able to give that which you simply don't have? Saidini so kujibu hayo for now. Yes. Are you internalizing the, like the way I am? Munaelewa, mumenyita. Yeah. Today we have been told one thing but by our moderator. Lo mi Mr. Kiwa to old up. All of us below 35. So kama uko above 35 jua you are in the wrong place. So kila mtu ujue you are below 35. Great. Tuko pamoja. Praise God. Leo lazima kwanza niambie watu wenye wako upstairs. That is church ingine. Unajonga wenye mna nyinyi mkiwa hapa chini you don't know. That is another another level. Watu wa upstairs. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Ah, uh, I had to work. Oh, na leo bibi hapa sini namuona. Pasi alikuwa amesema ataenda juu so nimemtafuta nimemkosa. So anyway, oh. Uh, yes. I wiki I want to ask you a question. Um nani amepatana na wale watu wenye wanaombanga 10,000? Nisaidie 10 bob Mungu atakubariki. If you have met them in mkono. Na kama hujakutana na nao unanidanganya kwa sababu wanakuaga hadi njoro. Yes. Haya. Nani kama mimi wanasemanga hivi? Huyu mtu mwenye anamsukuma mbona asiache huyu nyumbani aende akafanye kazi. Nani kama mimi wanasemanga hivyo? Ya? Yeah? Yaani wewe ushinde ukisukuma mtu na wilche huku mkiomba kumi kumi. Why don't you go and work alafu ulete huyu? How many people say that? Ya? Yeah? Because it doesn't make sense. Does it? Logically speaking, does it? But I want to ask you a question. How sure are you this person pushing this person is sane and can work? Question to ask. Um on Wednesday, yes. On Wednesday I decided to venture into town kidogo and as I was walking, I passed by this woman, very healthy, carrying a kid. So I was like, okay. Sisi wana rika tunapenda earphones. Unaendanga hata ukiongeleshwa utajifanya usiki unapita tu kama so i went uh, just outside merica merica was here when you move kidogo kuna kuanga na shopping ene uh, ya phones hapo so this woman was standing there so for me i came she was trying to tell people to help people down like hi so nisaidie pesa kidogo nisaidie everyone she was like nisaidie 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 so <laughs> mimi mwenyewe mimi na migo zangu na earphones zangu sui kakuja kani mempita and then uh, as i went i started contemplating um, this woman i assume she is healthy but she has a kid where can she go and work i was thinking it to myself and i was like she can work and then she earns money and she is good right See, that is what we are expected to do. But as I was going, I asked myself, what would God want me to do? Yes, I have pastor, actually in Lienda. And then I was like, what would God want me to do? I don't know her. I don't know what she's going through, right? Amekuja amesimama hapo, akona mtoto, ana mtu anapita, excuse, 90% actually, 99% kama hata 
kama ni kanisa tungekuwa tumepangwa laini hivi sisi wote tungepita ukweli uongo nani angesimama ampe kitu ah kumbe si yuko peke yangu oh nimeona mmoja pale <laughs> congratulations so i passed and i went i was going to the supermarket and then i was like okay actually it disturbed me a lot because when i reached arrived at the supermarket i was like okay nimeenda nimenunua kenye ninataka but what if this woman doesn't get anyone to give her something will not will she not stay hungry yeah that is what we do sindio but what if i have 20 shillings i go and give her at least i end up but uh, something like mboga na kona na kona mali apatapata mboga na kona kaunga mali si watakula for that day yeah au wanafanya kama venye campus tunafanyanga siku hizi saa saba ikifika unainama saa saa saba ikifika unainama for those who don't know i'm sorry but si nyinyi wote mmerudi 35 you get it now thank you so i was like okay i did that and i had to go back to this woman actually i never talked to her i had some few change on my pocket and i gave it to her and she said thank you may god bless you i never replied i just went but there is one thing i went with satisfaction in my heart huh? because i did something not for anything but for god yeah So today my topic is about giving. Uh we are in that season. Watu wa nyama, watu wa mashafashi. Actually I have real I just was talking to my friend and I realized <laughs> December ina kuanga ya watoto. Watu wazee ni stress ya kutafuta venye tutakula. Watoto watakula. So we don't celebrate. But I have I learned that it's not that we don't celebrate we are supposed to celebrate with others. Wewe umepanga venye mutakula. I was looking at I've lived with Muslims and when it is their time for Eid Ramadan, mwisho wa Ramadan, do you see how they do it? They cook and kids love going to their mosques. Why? Because wanajua tukifika pale tutapata chakula. And then there was tulikuwa life group. By the way, wanareka tafadhali life group ni important. Sawa sawa? So I was we were in a life group and then someone mentioned akasema mwenda wazimu waliulizwa swali. Wapi hawezi enda kuomba chakula? And the answer was church. Nyinyi ni stingy think like hadi chakula ya tumbo ya wa mwende wazima anajua hata akikuja kanisa hizi pata is that what christ is about i ask you ask yourself and please answer yourself so what is giving giving is the tendency to give something remember you can't give what you don't have true so um So uh, I looked at the I went to the dictionary and tried to find the meaning and I got CG10 meanings but this is the one which got me the most what is giving giving is the act of transferring one's possessions or holding of someone to some of something to someone sorry you can only give what you have true haya sisi ni wa Kenya hakuna kitu kinyenye tunakuaga nayo kuta mkenya akona anakula mpige simu nisaidie 500 acha 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 ungepiga dakika tano tu umekuta nimezitumia whether you have it or not true that is that is us kenyans and that is us humans that is what we are but i i was thinking about it and then i said like okay what entails giving because for you to give you have to you must have one thing the first one is love and we will go in to read it from first john 316 to 19 first john 
3:16 to 19 and it says and this is how we know god is love jesus christ laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers if anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need but has no pity in him how can the love of god be in him dear children let us not love with words or tongue but with actions and truth jesus christ laid his down his life for us because of the great love he has for us praise god love we are in a season where we are supposed to give but sisi tuligeuza christmas ina kwanga yeti ya kukula na familia ukweli apart from by the way, i have the, this tulienda live group ya zion and it was suggested that we do a fundraising for those people who is who are in pocket yeah we donate something not because of anything but because of love when you go and take something to that person and they will say like god bless you trust me it happens it will happen at that time when you don't expect it but you can't give without love right praise god following the second things that entails love is you give more than you receive oh sorry giving is you give more than you receive when you're giving you should give more than what you receive in return and that one we will get it in acts 2035 and it says in everything i did i showed you by this kind of hard work we must help the weak remembering the words of the lord jesus himself said it is more blessed to give than receive i was looking at a life of one my my uncles and then i was being told about what their mother used to do their mother used to give a lot it was said by the unonanga ile someone passes and people are sad because they used to receive something from someone yeah now they know like wa kumekuwa kubaya when you have gone before us what will we be saying about you tutasema hey at least ule mtu wa kukula ameenda au tutasema at least we are saddened to lose one of us who we know tulikuwa tunakula from where are you praise god the third thing i know giving entails a lot but the third thing it entails it pleases god praise god so we do we read from hebrews 13:16 and it says do not forget the good and shares with others for with such sacrifice god is pleased praise god remember when you give there is someone who told me ukipeana ah uh, ni deni umekompesha yesu god so i was like okay so i should be giving more and what i mean when i receive more yes that is true when you give it pleases god and when you give that some, someone in need yeah you're not doing it for anyone you're doing it for god and he surely pays back praise god oh i'm almost through but the thing we have listened for the second one um i i hope it kuna watu alishika the last part that person says nini in romans 12 verse 2 do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world but be transformed by renewing your mind then you will be able to test and approve god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will how many times tunapitanga watu wa banki watu wa nyama wamekunywa pombe actually we are debating 
wanareka wenye walikuwa inaitwa Jesus Bible study yes wanareka wenye walikuwa Bible study we were debating on one thing if you were passing by the road and then you find someone lying on the road what should you do as a christian oh isa ni maswali za siari ukipata pesa imeanguka as a christian what do you do i never used to get the, the essence of those questions anyway unless walimu watatuelezea baadaye lakini we were debating by the way i don't think we came into a very good conclusive because we never concluded anyway but what should you do as a christian when you find someone lying on the street do you assume the way i do personally i have that as mentality of kipata mtu amelala kwa kwa mtaro ni bolevi ndamandazi and then akaekelea kichwa hapo kwa meza this is the funny part when the, this waiter brought it alikuja akaekelea hapo yeye akarudi after 10 minutes the waiter realized this guy is not taking tea only to come to touch this person to find them dead on the table why he had been hungry when they investigated they found he was hungry for almost a month someone you meet loves with muna check up even muna chapa story and then just someone passes not because of anything chakula ya tumbo wapi si turukana nakuru county we are talking about nakuru that is why i was thinking about this topic of giving and i was like when we go to christmas watu wenye wanapiga sherehe remember it's not about you only there is someone who needs you when you eat chapati mbuzi peke yako remember there is a neighbor who needs that please usiache mtu ainame christmas ipite sawa sawa praise god thank you so much may god bless you this feeling of being here is awesome kama unatamani kukoja hapa you want to get a pastor kando sawa sawa i'll invite odu to finish thank you may god bless you